Hi there, this is TNT Explosives Limited, and today I'm going to show you some logic gates I made in the new Portal 2 DLC. So we'll start off with the basics. An AND gate. So this AND gate has two buttons that control it. One turns the laser on. The other, we have this floor pad here, lowers the floor pad. Let's the uh, collector over here uh, turn on. So this is our output here. One person, the one of the, the inputs turns on, nothing. The next input, nothing. We turn them both on, and you get your expected output. Over here, we have an OR gate, so we've got a redirection cube redirecting the laser into the collector. Um, no matter which laser's on, it'll always be redirected into the collector. So, one input to it turns on, the other input it turns on, both inputs turns on. Next we have a NAND. So this is these two are these uh, lasers are set to always on. Sorry, they're set to start on. So when you jump on one of the buttons, it turns the connected laser off. So it's in effect the, the complete opposite to an AND gate. So either so when no inputs are on we have output this one is turned on still have output this one's turned on we still have output but if we turn them both on turns both the lasers on we've got no output next in here i have an exclusive or gate so it's a little bit more complicated. We've got these two lasers, uh, one collector, two floor plates, and these two uh, floor collectors, which let the beam through. And each floor collector is connected to the opposite side's uh, floor plate. So turn one of them on. That t that pulls. Oh, that puts that. The, the other side's floor plate up, and we get the laser redirected into the output. We have output. The other side, same thing, just goes straight through, puts the other side's floor plate up. And we've got output. Jump on them, jump on both of them. Both lasers are blocked. We get no output. And then for if you want to start doing synchronous circuits like. My next video, which will have a couple of flip flops, you can have clock generators. This one here, it's a fast clock generator. It's reasonably unstable. Sometimes the, the oscillations will happen one after the other. Sometimes it'll have a, a bit of a pause there. It's a bit slow, hard hard to keep up. The speed of this clock outputs what a lot higher than you'd probably use in Portal 2 because things tend to move reasonably slowly in Portal 2. So I made a slow clock generator here. So each laser collector is connected to the other side's floor plate. One of those floor plates is set to start up to give it an, a bit of a bias so it actually starts oscillating properly. And we get a nice slow output which is probably it's suitable for most of what you'd need. Cool, thanks for watching.